This is the CTS M80. This keyboard should work out of the box with Mac OS, Windows, and Linux operating system. Extra gaskets cable. Well, this is nice. I like having a non coiled cable. I would take that. So here is the board. Whoa. So what is special about this board from what I understand is that the top is swappable and that is one of the biggest things. So if you have the base keyboard, instead of like buying in a completely new board, you can just swap out the top, which is what I have right here. And they have this in two sizes. So they have it in a 60% and they also have this in a TKL, which is what I'm building now. So an 80. The 80 is going for 119 right now. And then it comes with two different such as Gateron Brown, which is a tactile, Gateron Yellow, which is a linear. They do sell this bare bones in case you were interested in it. For specs, this is made out of polycarbonate. It does have foam and this is gasket mounted. These keycaps are ABS. It has laser etched legends for the RGB. It is hot swap and then it supports five pin. So you don't have to worry about it being a three pin. Per key RGB LEDs, QMK via and vial compatible. Oh, the plate is also PC. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do a typing test with this so you guys can see and hear how it sounds stock. box it's not bad i think i would still like to tune some of the stabilizers but it's not it's not bad this is the top case so it does have pretty good sized bezels all throughout the board f13 tkl actually so that's nice you do have this i believe this is for the artisan here you have a side pretty simple side so it's just removable Huh, here's the back. I saw that you can actually change this weight out if you'd like, but it does have the feet already put on for you. So left hand USB port, here's the front. So it's interesting because these keycaps have the laser etched on the front side for the RGB instead of being on the top side. So looking at the top, it looks a lot more clean with no legends but you still have them on the side. So you, as a typer, when you're typing, you can see it. But looking at it from the top, you can't really see it. It's different once you have the RGB on. And the neat thing about this one is this is actually removable. So this is actually magnetic. So we've seen ball catch, but this is actually using magnets. So it's gonna be less secure compared to a ball catch, but it's probably also cheaper, right? And you can buy these top pieces and just snap them on. So check this out. Whoop! And now you have a different top piece. In terms of how much the top pieces go, it's $25 and they have 11 colors. And then if you want a different base weight, it starts at $35, goes up to $50. You can get like a stainless steel chroma PVD, a mirror polish, black mirror, brass, or carbon fiber. So you can change this out. So they're saying this is for just like the overall heft of the board. Not sure if it would affect the sound or the acoustics. Imagine it probably does. Not sure how big that impact is, but from what they're listing on the product, they're saying it's just more heft for the board, right? So you can customize it if you like, and then you can pick like a different top piece. I think unfortunately, default, you have to get the black case. And then if you want to get a different color from there, it's like an additional $25 to add on. I actually do like the idea of like interchangeable tops, but personally, I have never bought a separate top piece. I think I like the idea. Personally, I've never done it. I think maybe because like I don't have a limited space. So having like an extra top piece just means more space is taken up. So this is gasket mounted. You have eight screws to keep this magnetic piece down. So this is the gasket that they use. 
So it has six gaskets, three on top, three on the bottom. So it's a non-adhesive gasket. I'm guessing this little point right here is what helps you align it. But essentially you would just slide it on the plate like this. Boop. Let's use a PC plate. No flex cuts on the PCB, it is hot swap. And it does have standoffs. Stabilizers are right here. These tabs are dry. So it looks like it's gasket mounted, but then you have this magnetic piece that holds it in place. So this is like a mid plate. And then the top piece would then snap on to this piece. But this mid piece compresses the plate between the bottom and this mid piece to keep it in place. And then you put this magnetic piece on top. So you can see where the magnets are. Four, so two on top, two on the bottom. So for this, it would go in right here. The bottom case, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has these little holes and that's where you would align it in. This mid piece will then compress right here and then you would screw it on. So this is the keycap set they sent me. These alert sets have kind of been growing on me. A nice orange and blue. Neat. DCD is their profile. PPT based. Yeah, so DCX is one of them, and these are DCD. So DCX is double shot ABS, whereas DCD is single shot PBT dice up. Both are cylindrical and sculpted, but slightly different. Yes, so the biggest difference is the material. The color matching for this is pretty, pretty good. It's not like super exact, but it's definitely like, oh yeah, you could see it's made for this. It's kind of neat, this base kit does have split back compatibility and it looks like it has some 40 support alice support check this out neat this matches pretty well that's a nice blue this is dcd mr bingo i think you can actually pre-order this right now oh it's gonna ship in the next four days if you buy this So for those who are interested in this, this is the CSTM-80, so Central Time Mountain 80 <laughs> is how I've been remembering it. This is actually shipping out September 5th. It looks like it starts at $149, but early pricing, right? $119. And all of this was sent from Drop. This is a PC case. It uses magnets for the snappable top piece. It looks like you can also buy like different plates, but the default one that this came with was a PC plate. It's an F13 TKL. And then this blue top is supposed to match this keycap set, which is called Mr. Bingo DCD. And it does have foam. The stabilizers are stock. Not bad. Um, for out of the box stabilizers, pretty solid. So if you're someone who likes to change the top pieces, this is a good board for that. It doesn't use a ball catch. It uses magnets. So the magnets are going to be like weaker. I would be careful about like picking out from the top like that. It's strong enough so you can, but you just have to be careful, but it is easily removable. But yeah, if you guys are interested, you can actually order these right now. It's pretty solid, especially if you're someone who likes to swap the top pieces in and out. I'll be honest with you guys. I personally am not that kind of person. Maybe because like, I don't have room, but as someone who say this is their primary keyboard and they like it, but they want a different color, it's neat because instead of like having to buy an entirely new board, you could just buy a different top piece, right? But yeah, I thought pretty solid. 119 pre-built. I could say drop is working hard to keep up with the custom keyboard 
Bender. So for example, like QK, Mellotrix. Because if you bought like a QK board, you would still end up paying like $200, $300 for it to be fully built. I guess if you're interested in buying this board, you just have to know that it is PC. I want to say it's like a more entry level board, but I think it's pretty solid. I have used drop keyboards in the past and I will say this one I'm most impressed with and I think they've come a long way from how some of their keyboards were before. <laughs> Thank you Draw for sending this out to me. I do really like this keycap set. It's not one I would typically use but I like it. Okay, 